Welcome generals and today we're back with Alexander the Great. Uh, this time we're going to be fighting a tier 3 battle. Alexander is now tier 4. I'll take a look at his, his tech tree. Okay, I'm just about ready to get into tier 4. I need a little bit more XP to open up uh, tier 4 cavalry. Yeah, but my hoplites, they're still missing stuff here. This is uh, for pike men, which I'm not sure I'm going to go for. I think I'm just going to keep with the, with the hoplites. But I'll still probably, uh, I don't know why, but I'll still probably get his, his, uh, his helmet. Because it's uh, plus 10 for morale. Plus 10 body armor for his... Uh, uh, for this one, I I was, I got this one. I'm not sure why. When I had the AXP, I, I really wanted this one first and then that one last. But that's the way that goes. So anyway, Alexander the Great. My guys are looking a lot cooler. Shield designs and all that. But off we go. Tier four. Battle calls me home. Or tier three, rather, it's tier three. With three hoplites. See how this goes. Plus 200% uh, for the weekend. I'm now at uh, tier 14. I got. I also got some premium time and some extra gold. I'm probably end up buying a couple premium units just uh, just for for fun. I also opened up um, a new uh, Roman general, Scipio. He's kind of fun to play. So here we go. We're in Thermopylae. See what we got for allies. Two cavalry units, that's good. I don't like all archery units to be quite honest, but that's the way that goes. So we got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, swords. Um, a couple of us with spears. What you're looking at here is an observation area. If you get here and the flag goes all the way to the top, then you get to see a whole, a big area of the battlefield gives you an advantage. Oh, I'll, I'll go there. A lot of people like to fight in this area, in the forest. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we got some spears back Capture here. Capture the enemy base or kill all enemy forces. So I've learned how to just pick two by holding the control button. Quickly! I move those forward. Spears. And that's my that's Alexander's unit, so I'm putting him back a bit. I'm gonna go really slow. See how these guys running into the into the terrain over here. That's very good against the archers. Spears! Double time! Spears! Fight over here on our flank. Got a whole bunch of uh, missile troops there. Yeah, 
Yeah, they want me to push forward, but I'm not so sure I really want to do that. Apparently our allies see us as fitting targets! Cease fire! Apace. Moving forward, they're falling back. Fall back. Spears, Quick march. That's our guys doing over here. Our troops are under attack. Whole bunch of people in the in the in this force over there. Charge them. Closer over here. Spears. Take this guy and we'll charge him right in there. And I'm going to hit a anvil, which is going to hold them there. Keep getting attacked by their cavalry. There's a whole lot of them over here, obviously. We need to flush them out. Or go to their base. I think I'm going to just go to their base. We've got all these guys all over the place. Defend our base. Yeah, they've gone to our base. That's probably their cavalry. Spears. We're going to run to their base. They can beat us by base capture, but it depends on how many troops are in there. 
so I'm not doing so great on score so far. Here's an interesting thing. Charge! 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 Just to get him going a little bit faster. Once we get in there, that's going to change the whole dynamic because we got so many troops we are capturing their base. that they will not be able to stop us. And now that they're being just totally stomped over here anyway. So we'll just go over here and we'll just... Uh, that's it. I've got two routed units. But now you'll see those uh, base points. You watch me and see how look at how, look at those um, base points, just going up and up and up, really fast. Spear unit isn't going to be able Another to do nothing. Victory for Alexander. I mean, I have been, I have victory lost a number of games by people hours. just going and base capping, so I'm going to do the same thing if necessary. And so there we go. Win by base, ca uh, base cap. Played the other day, I think I lost like half of the games due to base cap, so don't like that very much. Wish they had other where they didn't have a base cap. So, there we go. Got a couple uh, awards out of it. Let's go see what my guys are looking like. Got 2,225. So now I can uh, buy this uh, right there. Body armor plus 10. Yep, I'll buy that. Okay. Let's go back Alexander to the Great. Now, here's the question. Should I actually try my cavalry? Because I'm not the greatest cavalry commander. But we'll try it. Tier 3. See, after a certain while, I believe it's after you get to Tier 4. Once your general hits Tier 4, then you can only play versus humans. Okay. I'll give you an idea Alexander of that. Of I see she is Tier 2. And there I can play against humans. And my Roman Empire, here's Scipio. He's tier 3. And I can still play against uh, the AI. So once you, once you get to tier 4, then that's it for you. You have to play everything humans versus humans. So here we go. Close that, close that. Okay, off we go. Nothing is impossible. Cavalry actually is not so easy. You gotta be very aware of what's going on around you. I'm not a young guy anymore my reflexes and my everything is not so great so you know when you get into your 60s well then that kind of happens but you know doesn't mean that I can't have fun and I'd like to uh, I'd like to play the cavalry so I'm going with hoplites and cavalry at the moment and uh, 
this is this may not be the greatest one to be on with cavalry. I am the only one with cavalry, so I'm going to hold back until there's actually some sort of uh, clash where I can make a difference. So here we have artillery. These guys with javelins. Most are spears and some archers. Waiting for this guy to uh, load up. Notice we have two groups of two here. We have two groups of two. <clears throat> and here we go into the battle. I'm going to go back here and reserve. Notice this guy drew this line over to here. Capture the enemy base or kill all enemy forces. So, actually, we need to get somebody into that, um, into that, um, that spot here. Oh, look there! Here comes their cavalry. Got, we got bar barbarians. So we're going to charge these archers. Come on, boys. I'm trying to hold them. One of the cavalry in it. My half sister is slain. I'm being very aggressive here. Charge him. Come back. Get everybody out of there. So that would be me. I need to get back there. I 
I did okay, huh? Got four routed, four eliminated, killed one commander, and nuked one unit. Cavalry here. What kind of cavalry have here? Other oh, raiders. Okay. Awaiting orders. Shock cavalry. Smash them apart. Yep, this goes went the wrong way. on these guys have a lot more than me bring him back come back chase him This guy and him at him and charge. Our troops are under attack. Charge. Put these guys back out. Let the infantry do him. Come on back, come on back, come on back. Okay. Looks like everybody's kind of moving towards their base. So I'll follow them. Run! We are capturing their base. There we go. Base capture. Here, what do we got going over here? Oh, we got a big battle going on over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring my men over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight in this one if I can. here come back here looks like it's gonna be a base cap we're head on points how am I doing I'm not doing so bad here eh?
Charge. Charge. I go here. Last one of my. Gotta get him out of here. Gotta get him out of here. I will be remembered. I'm gonna charge this guy. They're gonna cap our base. Damn. They're gonna cap our base. They're gonna cap our base. They're gonna cap our base. Oh no, 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 no. Crush them. Oh, that killed me. Let's see how we ended up here. Oh, we didn't do so bad, eh? Fourth place. Okay, so let's see how it came out. Oh, I was this close. At the base cap here, base cap there. I didn't know what was going to happen. Okay, so here he is with his cavalry. Nice numbers. That's a nice number right there, 329. And there, five routed, four eliminated, two enemy commanders executed, and one enemy unit nuked. All right, all right. So that's a that was a good victory. Let's take a look at um, let's take a look at my um, let's see if that'll give me come on come on okay I'll go ahead and take three okay so here they are and I have two thousand five hundred and twenty three so I can open him at any time I've got lots of free XP so and then it'll be on to uh, um, citizen. Uh, uh, cavalry. Wait, no. Yeah, to citizen cavalry. Mm -hmm. Plus nineteen damage. Yeah. Plus five movement speed. That's good. Yep. Yeah, so it's them and then Athenian hoplites as well. So, like I say, I'm enjoying um, Alexander, playing Alexander. Great. Let's take a look at my battle report here. Okay, so. And you can see Spear Cavalry. I haven't done a lot, 19%. My commanders. Alexander's still my best. I think, he, well, and considering the amount of, of battles I fought, he's my best. Uh, He's my best uh, guy. Although Germanicus, you know, is is good. Germanicus is good, and I'm also liking Scipio Africanus uh, a whole lot too. Although I don't have, you know, it's still pretty good. Okay, let's see. So maximum points. You can take a look at your unit. There, yeah, maximum points gained in a game. Yeah. But also take a look at your tier level when you look at that. I haven't done really well with um, the barbarians. So, there you go. Two battles as um, Alexander. And hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and if you do, um, watch out. I'll be making other um, videos as I go up in tiers. So, that will be it for now. See you later.